In a perfect world right now, today, I would unbox a brand new Fear of God Essentials t-shirt in the box cut, the off-white color with the 3M reflective name on the back. In a perfect world. This is not perfect, as we know, and that's not what this video is about. Actually, it's about the fact that even one of your favorite <laughs> purchasing platforms can let you down. Actually, I don't blame eBay. I blame the sellers. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days, I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, TJ, back with another video, Talks with TJ, aka TJ2, Shoes Chains. I have on one just so it doesn't interfere with the mic, but thank you guys so much again for tuning into this video. If you are brand new, I have no idea what brought you here. It very well could be the Jordan 5, 1, or 13 video if you watched that, and that's how you found me. Thank you. Truly appreciate it. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. And to all my day ones, to Swoosh Crew, I appreciate you. Thank you for joining and tuning in. I really wish I was showing you guys something because I've shown you all the shoes that I, I have <laughs> I decided to pick up for the month of May. We're right at the end of May. So when you guys are seeing this, it's a Sunday. So we're, we're very much so right at the end of May, but it's not all, it's not all fun. It's not all good news. It's not all good things. So you know, Fear of God Essentials, I'm trying to add to that collection, I'm trying to build it, but I'm building it with some sense and a little bit of patience. I really go after items if they're either at retail or just a little bit above it, that's when I strike and go for those items. I have the hoodie, I have the pants, and I have a shirt on the way. It's just not here, but I promise to show you guys that too. I have a shirt on the way, I absolutely love it. And those three items were actually sourced from eBay. And I think I've said this before or given tips if you would like to purchase, um, you know, if you ever got items or things on there, uh, uh, just quick tips, always filter to US only. And then just take a look at the seller's history. I think that will tell you a lot in terms of buying these items, but I was supposed to actually unbox, I should have gotten in another t-shirt. I purchased this shirt back on May 12th. When you're viewing this, we're long past May 12th. I never received shipping updates. I never received shipping confirmation, tracking, reached out to the seller, absolutely nothing. And I got it for just under cost for what the shirt is. So it's typically like, if you're looking at Fear of God Essential shirts, they're typically like 55. And I ended up paying 50 total with tax and everything. Uh, be aware this can happen. And this is not to say that, oh my goodness, I won't shop on eBay. I was just browsing on there again. Okay, so I will very much so shop on eBay. I love eBay. But sellers can do this. This can happen to you. If they post an item, and let's say they have it posted on multiple sites because they do this and I've done this before too, but they'll post on multiple sites. If they can actually get more profit, of course, out of posting on a different site, they'll still leave that eBay posting up. And let's say somebody buys it on another site and it earns them more, they will just not fulfill your order on eBay. Or here's another thing I just experienced recently and I feel like it sucks as well. I bid on a pair of Fear of God Essential gray pants because I felt like why not just double up that way I can really trash one and really keep one in pristine condition. Don't look at me that way. I know you do that too. We all do it with shoes when we double up. That was my plan and then I think I was outbid on the pair so I said fine, chalk it up, keep it moving. I think that person must have canceled their bid, which means by default, the bid should have gone back to me and I should have won at $60 for Fear of God Essential sweatpants. This is another thing sellers would do. If they are salty, their item sells at such a low item or a low price, instead of putting an actual stop, because sometimes they can put a limit on it where it needs to hit a certain limit for bidding or they won't sell the item. They never did that. So here I am thinking, oh, I'm, I'm gonna get this. No, that's not what the notification was about. It was the fact that they canceled my bid. They, the seller decided to cancel my bid, not eBay, the seller did. So 
I'm taking Fear of God Essentials L's over here, people. You see how well the sneaker game is working for me? I'm getting W's there. Well, I'm getting L's. I'm trying to build this closet over here. But I do have the other shirt on the way, so I'll make sure to unbox that. But just... Some people think I don't take L's. I certainly take them. I take them, but here's the thing. You have to take the good and the bad with any secondary market platform you're on, whether it's eBay, StockX, Goat, Grail, Pars Poshmark. You have to take the good with the bad. You will have amazing sellers. You'll have terrible sellers. You'll have good buyers. You'll have terrible buyers. Take the good with the bad. I'm a little salty about it, but you know what? I could probably just put that money from the shirt towards a double up for the Flint 13s because I really do, th these are double up worthy. I've only done this one other time. Can you name what shoe I did this with? What shoe did I choose to double up with only one other time? And it is shown on my channel here, all right? So thank you guys so much again for tuning in. Let me know, do you have any eBay stories like this? Uh, please just go ahead and drop those in the comment section. As always, at your age, not your shoe size. Hope you have a great ending to your weekend. It is a holiday weekend, but please be safe always. Peace.